Hey, what is up, guys? I'm making sure you to do Hill, uh, West Ant for Twine Endurance. So, what we're going to start if is with the block off. Uh, you're going to come down here uh, and have make sure this little slant's blocked off with a wall and a floor. Come up here. So, at the slant, one, two, three. Go behind it, a cone, or making a ramp going towards the west, another cone being towards the west. You're going to edit a cone facing towards the northwest as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to block off the middle. So our pathing of the husk is going to be going from here, walking on this way, going this way, going up, and then walking into the imp. That's what they're going to be doing. So just like that. So from this tile right here, you're going to go out one, two, three, go up, one, one flat tile, one over here. That's what you're going to be doing. So you need to put walls all the way across this. Going up it as well. You can do a half walls right here, here, and here. Then you can do a floor right there. Cone right there. Edit it towards the northeast. And then ramp two ramps right there. As well. So what they will be doing is launching them into the lava down there for they will die and respawn. Uh, and then come down here, put a ramp right here where this little pillar thing is. A floor, a ramp, a floor, and a floor. Because there is the occasional spawn that comes down here, which I didn't know about until earlier or later today. And that was really it. Uh, I'll show you guys how to put the shield up in a second. So we're going to do the block off. We're going to put walls all the way across here. Until we line it up with this wall. We're going to put cones all in here. Literally all in here. Just fill it up with cones. Sides right here. Put a wall right there and a wall right here. Actually, you can put a cone here. No, you don't need a cone. Just put walls all the way across here. And back here as well. Edit these cones, all of these facing towards the northwest. And surround them with the walls. Same with these ones. Same with these ones as well. This can go into a ramp. This one can go into a ramp. This one facing towards the southwest. This one facing towards the uh, northwest. So that'll be your base block off for them not to go in the middle. So come down here. You don't want them to come down here and come up here and break that. So you want them to take that pathing of going up there. So you're going to put a floor right here. Edit the floor like that. A cone. Edit them a ramp. A wall, a floor, a cone, a wall, a floor, and a cone. Make sure this cone's facing towards the northwest. Put a wall behind it. And then what we're going to do is fill this in right here. Like that. So the flingers cannot throw anything like that. So we're going to come down here, place a wall right here, 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 and here. So when we use the floor launchers, we're going to, there are some of them are going to get stuck in here. So I want them to actually get pushed down to the lava down there. So you have it like this, and I'll show you what the traps to do in a minute. So we're going to come over here, put two floor tiles right here, make sure it's right here, or two floors right here. You can go one up, or go two up from that, from this floor, one, two. And go one, two, three over, and then go down from this one, one, two as well. And then go all the way over. And then fill that in. You should be fine. So we're gonna start with the amp design. Or no, we're gonna put ceilings right here, here, and here. I forgot to tell you that. So the amp design is something I'm testing right now with smasher bridges and stuff, seeing if it works. But this is the amp design I use right now for you can sit up here on wave 19 if you wanted to and stand right about here for takers will get up here and just sit here and not do anything. But that's what I personally do. You don't have to do that. Um, but this somewhat works and sometimes doesn't work. So the mini bosses will come up here and then smack this. And then he will, he will just stare right here. And then he will teleport somewhere. I don't remember where. But that's all he'll do. Uh, and then, um, let's go with the traps. 
Okay, we're gonna go down here with this first wall, or this first uh, where the cone is. It's edited towards the northwest or northeast. Uh, so the floor is gonna be a floor launcher. It's gonna be two impact, two reload, to, two durability. It's gonna go right there. We're gonna go up by one unit and place a. Uh, Am I doing it wrong? I think I did it wrong. We can go back one. Yeah, I did it wrong. So this one. Wait, no. What am I doing wrong? I did something wrong. Did I? I went out. Yeah, I went out, I went up too close. Okay. That was complete and utterly my fault. My bad. So it was like that. You just extend this out by one more unit. So from right here, instead of the ramp right here, you go out another floor and then go a ramp up and then go over like this into the end. I accidentally, that was my fault. My bad. So, still same thing here. The floor launcher right there. So next is going to be the all durability wooden force spike one two can be blue or purple your your choice an all durability tar pit so this is completely your choice what you do with the wall launchers i use three impact to reload one durability and just place them all across there i occasionally will put a wall eight here but i have a three durability to reload effect duration one eight here that's what i have so come down here. So the husk will land in here and then you want to push them around. You want to push them into the lava. So wall right there, a wall launcher right there and right here. And then on the back of these walls, I have a thing with healing attached on the wall launcher walls and that's it. So come down here. This is a wall launcher with a uh, healing attached. I think so. I don't have one crafted actually. I switched them. Uh, that's going to either be healing attached or you can put a healing attached wall spike behind it. Something that has to heal this wall because they will tend to hit it just in time. But that is this build for a hill. And thank you guys for 1k subs. By the way, actually I forgot one, one part too. Up here I put uh, crit rating, crit damage, damage, crit damage, healing attached, wooden four spikes up here. Then I put electric fields. This is just to kill like the assassin hunters to get by or something like that. But just in case they accident or they get recycled quick enough. But uh, I appreciate you guys for helping me get 1k. Thank you guys for supporting and everything. Uh, I'm going to do a 1k special on Twitch uh, for 1k once we hit 1k subs on YouTube. I don't know what I'd be doing. I might be doing endurance giveaways maybe. 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 I don't know yet. But thank you guys so much. Um, uh, you guys can comment what you guys want me to do. Uh, next I'll do be doing, uh, Hill, Hill South. And then I'll go back to Devil. I have a new build for Devil. I will go back to it, explaining everything. And then that, that is all I have for you guys, actually. Thank you guys for helping, supporting everything you guys have done. Catch you guys in the next one. Stay nature.